Hey there, I'm Angelique. Thanks for coming by my channel. Uh, I'm gonna film a strong flow again today. It's the afternoon and I've had the laziest day, so I'm really excited to get a nice little sweat on. So let's get started. Uh, front of the mat, connect the big toes and the heels together and place your hands at the heart. And just take a moment to land into your practice. Begin to feel all the parts that are connected to the ground. and the spaces that are lifted from the ground. And as you tune more into the details of the feet and how your feet is landing on the ground, begin to feel the breath slow down. Press your thumbs to your third eye. Honoring your body, your mind, and your abilities today. And take a deep breath, reach your arms over your head. And then exhale, hands back down to the heart. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, interlace your fingers and keep reaching your arms. Lift your heels, drop the heels. And again, lift the heels as you activate your belly muscles. Exhale, release. And again, inhale. Activate the pelvic floor. Exhale, heels, and then fold forwards. Inhale, flat back, and fold. And again. Last one. And exhale, step to plank pose, hold it there. Grab the floor. So you get to warm up the fingers, warm up the hands actively rotating your elbows back. Pressing the floor straight down as you inhale, lengthen the sternum forward and exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, hands a tiny bit further back, up dog, hold three, two, and then child's pose. Set the hips back, I'm using a bit of pressure of the hands to feel the hips grounding over the heels. Stretch the right arm forward and pull it towards you. And then slide the same arm through, thread the needle. Good, and then change side. Left hand forward, pull the arm towards you as you sink the armpit down towards the floor. Kind of sway your hips a bit side to side. And then slide the arm through. Good, release. Down dog. 
T-tip with. Take a few breaths to get into it. Lift your heels, bend the knees, step the feet forwards. Inhale. And exhale. Stretch up. And for the heart, exhale. Open the feet wide enough for a squat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit down into the squat. Keep reaching your arms forwards. Keep your belly active. And then sitting down. Lift your legs. You can have your legs bent here, but if you can, keep the legs straight. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Lower back. Inhale. Then you're going to lift the whole spine up, touch the heels again. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cross your feet, step back, plank. Inhale, exhale. One cobra, child's pose. Round forward, arch back, tilt tailbone, head back. Round forward, chaturanga on the knees, and then up dog. Hold three, two, Drop the knees. Same thing as before, but just a couple of breaths. Notice the left hand stays where it is. Slide the right arm through. And then keep the toes tucked. From this, you're going to take it into side plank on the left. Step your right leg up. Inhale, arms up. One more breath. Really step forward. Hold. And all the way up. Exhale. Open feet. Arms up. Sit into the squat. And down. Now this time we're going to reach for the toes or the shins. We're going to hold, release, hold, release, Woo. hold, release, last one, feet down, hands back behind you, lift your hips up, Yeah, now we're going to slide the hips through the arms as you lean your chest forward over the shins. Three more times up and through. And up and through and up and through. Sit the hips down, keep the feet wide, turn. And this is just a nice stretch and twist through the spine and the hips. Other way. Good. Release. Roll over the feet. Plank pose. Inhale. All the way down. One cobra. Child's. Round forward, 
Arch the way back. Forward. Chaturanga on the knees. And then hold. Up dog. Three. Two. And release. Left arm forward. Left arm through. And up. Left leg up. Low lunge. Inhale. Oh, nice stretch through the hips, through the belly, shoulders. Really step forwards. Inhale. Fold. Stretch up. Hand to the heart, exhale. All right, one more round. Inhale, sit down in the squat. All the way. And we go. Hold. Release. Hold. Release. Hold. Release, hold, and release. Place the feet, lift your hips, roll the spine back down, then lift your right leg up and the left leg down. We're going to lift and turn and twist. The right leg goes down. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Twist it out. Other side, left leg up, hovering the right. Palms together, lift and twist. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And twist. Release. Roll over the feet. Plank. Chaturanga. Cobra, child's and round forwards through the cat, through the cow, cat, chaturanga, up dog, hold, three, two, down dog, take the right leg up, now coming up on the left fingertips, Change, left leg up. Coming up onto the right fingertips. Release, lift heels, bend knees, jump forwards. Inhale, exhale. Stretch up, the palms goes behind the head this time. And wiggle a bit side to side. like making circles with your elbows. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, jump to plank. Inhale, chaturanga. 
up dog, and down dog. Take the right leg up. Left fingertips, option is to reach the arm back. Three, two, one. Bring the arm forward, step the right foot forward. Low lunge, keep the left toes tucked. And then we're gonna lift up. Catch the right foot. And we're in standing balancing twist. Three, sorry. <laughs> Standing, balancing, split. Wow, that just took me forever to say. <laughs> Step back and twist open. Three, two, one. Step to side plank and then take a vinyasa. dog and same thing on the other side so we reach the left right arm arm forward step forwards anjaneyasana low lunge keeping your right toes tucked and then you're folding over the front side as you lift. Three, two, one. Step back, twist, side plank. Vinyasa. Down dog. Straight away, lift your heels, bend the knees, jump. Reach up, flip the back of the hands together, stretching your hands a bit, or your wrists. Good. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, fold. Half. Straight to Chaturanga. Plank. Down dog. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Right leg, left arm. Right knee to the right arm. Left hand down, roll back, wild thing. Step the right leg forward. Same as before, low lunge. Good. Balancing standing split. Simple twist. Then lift up, reach your arms out. Flip around to warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side plank. Chaturanga. Down dog. Take a couple of breaths. Now, see if you can lift your left leg and right arm at the same time. Knee goes to the arm. Release and flip around. Forwards. Low lunge, keep the right toe tucked. Standing, balancing, split.
simple twist. Lift up, hold, twist, flip around to warrior two. Lean back to reverse. Side plank, right. Vinyasa. Down dog. Couple of breaths. Jump forwards. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Reach up. Hands to the heart. Arms up. Fold. Half. Chattering. Plank, down dog, plank, chaturanga, and up, down dog. Right, so right leg and left arm at the same time. Knee to the arm, left hand down, wild thing, step the right leg forward, low lunge, now option is to try and catch the front foot with both hands, prayer twist, so we're going to step back, Hold, three, two, warrior two, turn around, inhale, reverse, and exhale, skandasana on the right, turn your right foot, and sitting down, three, two, one, change, three, two, Simple twist on the right side. Side plank. Vinyasa. Couple of breaths. And then we're going to do left leg and right arm at the same time. Onto the knee. Ooh, less stable on this side. <laughs> Turn and let it open. Step forwards. Low lunge. Balancing. Standing split. Prayer twist. Worry to reverse. Skandasana on the left. Change. 
simple twist on the left. Side plank. Vinyasa. One more breath, and we jump forwards, inhale, exhale. Reach out to the heart. All right, Ooh. I'm sweating. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Half. Chaturanga. Up dog. And down dog. Now, we're going to skip the three-legged balance. So you're just going to take the right leg back. Bend the knee, open hip, and step straight into wild thing. Step forwards. Low. Now this time, instead of going to the balancing standing split, we're going to half moon. Same transitions of compressing the ribs over the front thigh. And extend it out. Step back, warrior two. Reverse. Skandasana on the right. Change. This time we're going to sit all the way down. Take your left knee in and out and then see if you can come back up without using your arms. Simple twist. Side plank. Vinyasa. Drop the knees. Drop the elbows. Now, if you've got forearm stand in your practice, you can try kicking up a few times. Otherwise, you can take headstand. Or you can practice keeping your head, sorry, keeping your legs on the ground and just lifting and dropping your head. Getting used to the journey upside down. So that is a nice drill to get familiar with your head on the ground. Otherwise, a few breaths in your inversion of choice. Three, two, and release. Rest it back. Okay, other side, left leg coming up, bend the knee, open hip, step it back, and back bend, should feel nice, not after so many repeats, step forward, low lunge. Half moon. Worry two. Reverse. Skandasana. 
change. Sit down. Bring the knee in. And up. Simple. Side. your inversion of choice again. Now, if you have a tendency to kick up with your favorite leg, I challenge you to kick up with the opposite leg, which is what I'm gonna do now, kicking up with the left. Rounding through up on the fingertips. And then down dog. Right leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip. We're going to skip the wild thing now. And just step through. Take a warrior one. And then humble. Stretch the shoulders out and the groin at the same time. Nice. Stay leaning forward. Release your arms. And that's going to turn into lizard. feeling open today, which means I'm going to demonstrate an arm balance that is belonging to slightly advanced. So we're going to take the left knee and slide it in, turn the left heel forward so you have space to sit back, and then we're going to take that arm through. If you're trying to get your right leg as high up over your elbow as you can. With that said, you don't actually need to be mega flexible for this to happen. But the higher the leg goes over your arm, the easier it will be to balance on your arms. Okay? Now, I'm gonna squeeze that right leg over the arm so it doesn't slide down. And then the left foot is gonna cross over the right, so not underneath, over. Here, keep squeezing, the arms are reaching forward, and then I'm gonna lift my bum, and straighten the legs diagonally out as I lean forward into the chaturanga. And that's the eight angle arm balance. Down dog. Take your left leg up. Compress belly as you step. Release the right heel. Warrior one. Interlace your fingers. Move one thumb along. So whatever feels awkward as you interlace your hands, 
That's the opposite way. One more breath. Stay deep. Release. And lower into the lizard. Big difference between my right and left. May not look like it, <laughs> but the sensation is uh, very different. Right from here, we're gonna come up on the hands, if you're not already. I'm gonna slide the back knee in, which is the right. Angle the right foot to the left, and then sit down, keeping your left shoulder to the inside of the left knee. Bring your arm through and lift. And then you can help that leg even further back. All right, so once you've found your edge, you're gonna really squeeze the leg over the arm so it doesn't slide down for you. The right foot is gonna cross over, okay? Now, I'm bringing my hands forward so that I have somewhere to travel to push the hips and then straighten the legs diagonally out to the left as I lean down, just as we do in the Chaturanga. Release. Ooh. Lie down on your belly. Right elbow out. And then roll the left foot behind you. Just let your collarbones and your chest stretch out after that. Change. Okay, lie down on your back. We've done quite a few wild things today, so in my body, it feels like it should be a nice thing to move into a back bed after that. But obviously, listen to your body. If your lower back feels a little bit iffy, just do a normal bridge and interlace your hands under the back. Otherwise, if you're feeling good, flip your hands around, hug your elbows in, pick up your hips, bring the crown of the head on the floor. So see that I'm kind of resetting the feet parallel, so heels slightly turned out. Elbows are hugging in, flip the head and then Press your chest forward through the arms. Alt five. And kind of softening through the glutes, and softening the hips down, and thinking of reaching the heart through the arms instead of lifting the hips up. Which means it feels like I'm opening the upper back and coming out of compressing the lower back. All right, to come down, tuck the chin and release. Let the knees drop side to side. 
Oh, you can also roll the wrist here. That's nice. I'm going to go up one more time. Feel free to rest, hugging your knees into your chest or doing some sort of forward fold. But if you're feeling good, when you move into your back bends, I'd say the second, third, fourth, fifth are the ones that are actually nice. Never really the first one. So, the second time I'm going to bring the feet closer in. And then once I'm lifted up, I'm going to shuffle the feet in even closer. more breaths. And that's enough for me. We're going to tilt the tailbone to get the lower back nicely grounded. And I'm activating the lower belly muscles here as a counteraction for the back bends. So I'm really lifting the pelvic floor, squeezing all of the walls in, as if I'm holding pee and poo and everything possible to hold down there. And then relax. Let the knees drop side to side. Let the knees drop to the right. Left. Gonna stretch the hamstring a bit, although they got a fair bit of stretch in that balancing standing split today. Well, that just helps to release the lower back for me. This is such a nice transition into calming down, into the calm down of the practice. You're still with me. I'm going to take you through a nice Shavasana and meditation. So let the legs slide down, arms open. Close your eyes. Let your mouth separate so that you can release the jaw. You can release the tongue off the roof of your mouth and your eyes are just falling into the head. Let every exhale be your cue to relax, surrender, let go. Noticing where your attention is taking you, even though you're completely relaxed. Noticing the practice still lingering in parts of your body. It's 
So even though you're noticing these kind of like busy things going on in the mind and the body, you're still taking rest. And you're still getting better at positioning your identity or positioning your self um, perception to the witness, to the one that observes. From the highest point of view. Keep staying in this state of relaxation, softness. And then slowly letting your head drop side to side. Keep your eyes closed and just enjoy the details of moving slowly. There's enough time to be busy. There's enough time to be distracted. So use this time to just dial down into the present with your hands and feet stretch your right arm up and roll onto the right side as you draw the knees in slightly Imagine that you are connecting with me in this moment. to the heart. Set an intention for the rest of your day. Whether it's morning, afternoon or evening.
deep breath. Exhale. And then gently open your eyes. Thank you very much for joining. I wish you a nice rest of your day. It would be great if you can like and share and subscribe. I'll see you next time.